presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, the Reflow Editor. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you love the Reflow Editor, or if you actually believe my shirt when I say it will change your life, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. One of the things that people are astounded about when they switch from other worship software to ProPresenter is the Reflow Editor once they learn about it. So I'm about to rock your world. I'm about to astound and amaze or just save you some time. One of those two. Anyway, so let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So this is ProPresenter, of course, and up here you'll notice there's this little icon for Reflow. Let's go down to a song. This is uh, And Can It Be, um, it's a Charles Wesley song, so let's go ahead and click Reflow. Um, oh, I should have actually clicked on it. So in, anyway, here we are. So notice how I've got two lines here, two lines here, two lines here, and so on. Well, what if my uh, music minister or worship leader says, hey, we don't like two lines. We want four. How do you fix that? Reflow editor. So first off, um, let me click right here. And this bar right here, this is the slide break. I want to get rid of the slide break. So what I'm going to do is, having clicked there, I'm just going to hit the backspace key on a Windows computer, or the delete key that's where the backspace key is on a Windows computer uh, on a Mac, and I'm just going to get that, and look, it collapsed that. Now, this is for an upcoming tutorial, so uh, it did. it's not showing everything, but if I continue this on down here, you'll notice that there we go, we've got four lines again. So that is a pretty simple thing. But you might be thinking, uh, Paul, what does that have to do with the t-shirt? Well, let me show you. You can also easily split up slides. No more copying and pasting things to uh, make slides longer. Just click where you want the new slide to begin and you could click this insert slide break button down here. You might not know that that's a button. It doesn't really look like one, but it is in fact a button. So I'm going to click that and there we go. But wouldn't it be better if there was a keyboard shortcut? There is. I'm wearing the t-shirt. So if we go here and we go to option return on the Mac keyboard, notice it did the exact same thing. I can also if I wanted to go to one line, uh, Alt-Enter is what it is on the Windows keyboard. Uh, if you're in the Windows version, and notice that that did it. And if I want to go back to two lines, just backspace again, and that takes me back to two lines. Um, one thing that's great about the Reflow Editor, this is kind of the second iteration of it. The first iteration... Uh, it just wasn't as intuitive. So here, notice how that we've got all the text here on the left-hand side, nice and easy to look at, and you've got a preview over here. Well, down here, these sliders enable you to change the size. So I like to change the size so they're roughly equal, so that as I'm dealing with um, a slide, I can basically look over to the right and see what happens when I'm uh, messing with it. So I can make this a little bit smaller or a little bit larger, just whatever I have to do to tweak those so that they're roughly equivalent. This one isn't, but you know, you can play with it to your heart's content and the reflow editor when you're bringing in songs and you need to reformat them, 
This will save you a ton of time and, as I say, it will change your life. If you like this uh, tutorial and this content, then I bet you'd like my Pro 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick, and for free, you can join the all-new ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. Uh, log into it there, and uh, just giving your name and email address so that I can make a login for you, and then you can just take that at your leisure. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Did I say that it was at tdm.fyi slash pro7quick? If I didn't, that's where the quick start course is. Anyway, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.